Fran Drescher is known for her unique voice and humor, bringing laughter to audiences worldwide. From her role as the charming nanny in The Nanny to her advocacy for cancer awareness, Fran has touched many lives. Think back to the first time you saw Fran on screen. Was it her quick wit or the warmth of her character that drew you in? Maybe there's a scene that sticks with you, one that brings a smile to your face or a moment that stayed with you over the years. We'd love to hear about your first encounter with Fran's work and any special memories you associate with her. Share your stories and memories in the comments. Your experiences add to the rich tapestry of her career. Stay tuned as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts to share about Fran Drescher's journey. Your stories are part of what makes her legacy so special and we can't wait to hear them. Keep watching to discover more about Fran's life and career. Fran Drescher, known for her distinctive voice and comedic timing, made a significant mark in the film industry, particularly through her work on television. She co-created and starred in the popular TV series The Nanny, which aired from 1993 to 1999. The show was successful, not only in America but internationally, and is considered a classic. Drescher's portrayal of Fran Fine, a fashion-forward nanny from Queens, New York, brought humor and warmth to the screen, making the character and the show beloved by many. Her influence extends beyond her roles. She is an advocate for healthcare and LGBTQ plus rights, using her platform to raise awareness and support for these causes. Drescher's career in Hollywood showcases how an actor can use their celebrity for positive change while entertaining audiences worldwide. Her work continues to inspire new generations of actors and comedians. Fran Drescher brought the character Joy Munchak to life in the movie Cadillac Man, sharing the screen with Zach Norman, who later appeared in The Nanny as Uncle Jack. Their connection on screen in Cadillac Man was a precursor to their later work together. Fran Drescher also worked alongside Robin Williams in the film Jack, released in 1996, where both actors delivered memorable performances. Beyond her acting career, Fran Drescher took on a significant role in the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists as its president, leading a diverse group of media professionals and advocating for their rights and interests. Fran Drescher faced a serious health challenge when she was diagnosed with uterine cancer. Fortunately, the emergency surgery at Cedars Sinai Hospital was successful, and since the cancer was detected at an early stage, she did not require further treatment like radiation or chemotherapy. Her recovery was complete, and she returned to her life without the need for additional medical interventions. Her connections extend beyond the entertainment industry, as evidenced by her friendship with Donald Trump. She valued this relationship enough to invite him for a guest appearance on her show, The Nanny, and was present at his wedding to Melania Trump. In 2006, Fran Drescher returned to the stage, showcasing her acting skills in Neil Labute's play Some Girls at the Lucille Lordle Theater in New York. This off-Broadway production ran from May 17 to June 24, providing her with an opportunity to engage with a live audience and explore a different facet of her acting career. Fran Drescher's journey began at Hillcrest High School in Queens, New York, where she shared her early education with Peter Mark Jacobson, who would later become her husband. Her unique presence caught the eye of many, leading to her recognition by People magazine as one of the world's most beautiful people in 1996. Drescher's first step into television was as Carolyn Baker in the movie Summer of Fear, marking the start of what would become a successful career in entertainment. Fran Drescher brought her unique flair to the role of Bobby Fleckman in the rock mockumentary. This is Spinal Tap, sharing the screen with Dana Carvey and Billy Crystal. Her performance as Connie in Saturday Night Fever is memorable, especially for an improvised moment where she placed her hand on John Travolta's behind, a move that was unscripted but kept for its authenticity to the character. Beyond acting Fran Drescher, alongside her husband Peter Mark Jacobson, established the production company High School Sweethearts marking their joint venture into the world of television production. Fran Drescher's life and career are closely linked with notable figures and brands. Her friendship with Twiggy, the 1960s model, influenced her work on The Nanny, drawing inspiration from Twiggy's children for the show. She shares a strong bond with actress Yvonne Sayo, considering her a best friend. In 1994, Drescher became the face of Haynes Smooth Illusions Pantos, featuring in both print and television advertisements showcasing the product's appeal. Fran Drescher faced early challenges in her acting career, being told her New York accent would hold her back. 
Despite this, she persevered and found a creative way to enter the industry. In 1973, she claimed the title of Miss New York Teenager to secure representation, even though she was actually the first runner-up. Her determination paid off, leading to a successful career. Additionally, Fran Drescher follows a dairy-free diet, which she has maintained for her health and well-being. Fran Drescher, known for her distinctive voice and comedic timing, once shared a startling story with the Huffington Post. She claimed that aliens had abducted her and left a chip in her hand. This unusual experience is just one aspect of her life that captures attention. In addition to her acting career, she is related to Adeline Drescher, adding to her family's presence in the entertainment industry. Fran also showcased her dancing skills alongside John Travolta in the classic film Saturday Night Fever, where her performance remains memorable to this day. Fran Drescher known for her distinctive voice and comedic talent, has been active in various aspects of entertainment. In April 2008, she was reportedly collaborating with Rosie O'Donnell on a family comedy project, as mentioned in O'Donnell's blog. Years earlier, in November 2003, Drescher appeared in commercials for the clothing brand Old Navy alongside rapper Kimberly Lil' Kim Jones. On the personal front, Drescher sold her Spanish style house to writer-producer Alfred Go and moved to Malibu, where she continues her work in the industry. Fran Drescher's career has seen her work with a host of well-known personalities. Her journey includes a challenging personal ordeal, surviving a violent crime in her home. Despite this, she formed lasting friendships in the industry, notably with Dan Aykroyd and Donna Dixon during the filming of Dr. Detroit. Her resilience and ability to connect with others shine through her experiences. Fran Drescher's journey to television success began with a chance encounter. On a flight to Paris, she met Jeff Sagansky, the president of CBS at the time. With determination and wit, she persuaded him to consider a show idea she had developed with her husband, Peter Mark Jacobson. This meeting led to the creation of The Nanny, with the pilot episode being produced in under a year. Drescher's ability to connect with people played a key role in turning her vision into reality. In addition to her talents as an actress and writer, Drescher has a knack for languages, including Spanish. This skill adds to her versatility and connects her with a broader audience. Drescher's influence extended to casting decisions as well. She brought Margie Martin from Who's the Boss? to The Nanny, having her play a similar role in both show's final seasons. This move showcased Drescher's creative continuity, linking two popular television series through shared talent. Fran Drescher, with her roots in an Ashkenazi Jewish family from Eastern Europe, made a significant shift to television by starring in Living with Fran, a popular show that aired on the WB Network starting in April 2005. Beyond her acting career, she is also recognized for her dedication to health advocacy, having established the Cancer Schmancer Foundation, which is committed to healthcare education and early detection of cancer. Fran Drescher paid close attention to detail in her show, The Nanny, subtly nodding to the set design of Who's the Boss by changing the color of a horse statuette. This small change from white to black was a discreet homage to the earlier show. Her connection with Rosie O'Donnell is well known, highlighting a friendship that extends beyond their professional lives. Drescher's role as Connie in Saturday Night Fever marked her feature film debut, alongside a significant portion of the cast who were also new to the big screen. This group debut added a fresh dynamic to the film, showcasing a range of new talents in Hollywood at the time. Fran Drescher, known for her distinct voice and comedic talent, grew up in a house located at 147-49-72nd Drive in Kew Gardens Hills, New York. Her love for animals is evident through her chocolate Pomeranian Esther Drescher, who not only shares her home, but also the spotlight, appearing on the show Living with Fran as Esther the Dog. Fran's family ties are strong, with her father, Mort Drescher, stepping into the world of acting by making multiple appearances on the hit sitcom, The Nanny, further blurring the lines between her personal life and her on-screen persona. Fran Drescher's journey in the world of acting is marked by notable milestones. She attended Hillcrest High School alongside Ray Romano and Michael K. Brock, a shared beginning for these future stars. Her talent shone through early on, leading her to roles in films now preserved for their cultural and historical significance. In Saturday Night Fever, she played Connie, a character remembered for a bold scene with the lead just before his highlight dance. This role, along with her appearance in This Is Spinal Tap, showcases her range and the lasting appeal of her work. Drescher's openness about her experiences on set, 
including the candid detail about not wearing underwear during a pivotal scene, reflects her genuine and unfiltered approach to her craft and public persona. Fran Drescher, known for her distinctive voice and comedic timing, first graced television screens in Who's the Boss? The Heiress. Years later, she mirrored this role in The Nanny, playing a caregiver from Queens who finds herself in a wealthy Manhattan household, sparking an unspoken romance. Off screen, Fran shares her life with her older sister, Nadine. In the film Cadillac Man, she portrayed Joy Munchak, and her beloved dog Chester also made an appearance, credited as Chester Drescher, marking a unique moment where her personal life intersected with her acting career. In the world of television, small details often mirror larger realities. This was evident when Fran Drescher, in her role as Fran Fine on The Nanny, was seen with Evian Water, a nod to Volvic being the chosen brand on another sitcom. Despite the character's thrifty nature, this choice reflected a preference for a brand perceived as more upscale than the more affordable Volvic. In July 2003, Fran Drescher took on a dramatic role in a New York play, marking a departure from her usual comedic performances. This week-long engagement showcased her versatility as an actress. Beyond the screen, Drescher's commitment to health advocacy is notable. She serves as a patient advocate on the external advisory board for the MD, Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Her dedication was recognized in 22 when she received the Public Service Award from the Gynecologic Cancer Foundation, honoring her efforts in raising awareness and support for cancer research and patient care. Fran Drescher, known for her unique voice and comedic talent, first appeared on screen as Connie in Saturday Night Fever, marking her entry into the entertainment industry. Her career took a significant turn when she joined the cast of a show that became a major hit in the 1970s. This show, often confused with the film due to its similar name, featured a skit titled Samurai Night Fever as a nod to the movie. Drescher shared the screen with other Fever alumni like John Travolta and Karen Lynn Gorney on this platform. More recently, in May 2006, Drescher returned to the stage, showcasing her dramatic skills opposite Eric McCormack in the off-Broadway production of Neil Labute's play Some Girls. Her journey from a debut film role to a seasoned stage performer highlights her adaptability and enduring presence in the acting world. Fran Drescher's unique voice became her signature trait, but it wasn't always an asset. Early in her acting career, she trained to speak without her distinctive nasal tone and New York accent to land more roles. Despite mastering a normal voice, she found that directors preferred her original, more memorable voice. This twist of fate led to her voice becoming a key factor in her later success. In the comedy film UHF, Drescher played Pamela Finkelstein, and the casting choice was humorously attributed to the distinct voices she and co-star Victoria Jackson possessed. Drescher's education at Queens College, part of the City University of New York, was a point of pride for her. She even showcased her college spirit on her hit show The Nanny, wearing a Queens College t-shirt in an episode, signaling a nod to her educational background. Fran Drescher, known for her distinctive voice and comedic talent, once revealed an unexpected offer from Warren Beatty and Isabella Janney for a menage a trois, which she declined. Beyond the screen, she shares a strong bond with Charles Shaughnessy and Lauren Lane, her co-stars from the hit sitcom The Nanny. Their friendship extends beyond the set, showing the lasting personal connections formed during the show's successful run. Fran Drescher, known for her role as the charming and humorous nanny in the television series The Nanny faced a harrowing ordeal in 1985. She was the victim of a violent home invasion during which she was assaulted. This traumatic event deeply affected her, but she later used her experience to help others by raising awareness and providing support to fellow survivors of violence. Fran Drescher's resilience in the face of such adversity is a testament to her strength and her commitment to turning personal tragedy into a force for positive change. 